what's going on everybody welcome back to another video and today we are going to be messing around with my mccullough i think it's called mccullough i'm going to call it a mccullough mccuck mccuck something with a cuck we're going to find a way to rename this thing uh this is a steam cleaner it's really cool uh it's got quite a bit of attachment um, variety so uh it's got a bunch of attachments that I have upstairs. But for now, we just got some brush attachments, uh, brass brushes. I believe those are nylon. A little measuring cup, a funnel to put the aqua in there, and some kind of weird, like, spongy brush. Don't need really any of that stuff. Again, all we're really doing is messing around with this thing. I haven't ever cleaned my wife's engine bay. And um, I guess when you're home and you're bored, you decide maybe... Maybe it's time to give this old girl a little wipe down. Now I know, well, this is a weird looking uh, hinge. I've never seen some shit like that. Now I know I could easily just wipe this down. And for the most part I am, but I am going to bust out this steam cleaner just for the hell of it. Why? Because it's not some formal video. Uh, it's just me messing around and I really don't care. So we're going to mess around with this. Again, just a warning here. I'm not a professional detailer but uh, I'm gonna try to use common sense. I'm gonna keep the steam away from like the uh, PCM, the battery, I'll use a uh, regular wiping and towel towels, uh, but I will spray maybe this and I mean, if I put the rag cover, I I mean, I'll figure things out. But again, if something happens, it happens. I'm curious to just see if versus regular wiping. So what I might do is just wipe a little bit here and then steam clean here. Like I'm just gonna use a towel, I'm gonna hold it and as I'm like steaming, I'm going to be wiping things off. So we'll see uh, what does what. Obviously, I'm aware that there is heated water coming out. So I want to be careful not to like deform or melt or uh, discolor anything. So there's always a risk. Um, and I figured I would mess around on this vehicle and my Tahoe. So I'll probably film that too uh, before I ever touch the Hawk. But again, the Hawk's never that dirty. So... The odds of me ever needing steam in my Hawks engine bay is slim and none. But anyway, let's move on. This is like, this is yuckville. Let's we'll see what the hell the steam does. So this machine runs on 16 ounce uh, setup. So you could do 16 ounce and I believe 32 and one step above that. So for what we're gonna do, I'm gonna go with a 32 ounce setup. Uh, again, I'm using distilled water. I don't think it's a mandatory thing. But I have so much of it. Hopefully I still have some after this whole pandemic because I do use distilled water when I'm um, mixing my detailing supplies um, from concentrate form or diluting them. Uh, if I'm messing around with foam guns and stuff, I try to use distilled water. I don't think it's like a mandatory thing, but for me, I feel a little bit better. I guess the whole idea of it behind that is that uh, there's less minerals and deposits in this. So maybe it won't do something funkerific. I don't know. It's probably complete overkill. But that's all we're going to put in. Got it. Done. We're going to close this up. We're going to turn this bad boy on. We're going to wait for it to heat up sufficiently. And uh, that's it. So I think the best way to handle this is my method of choice. Uh, some people choose detail sprays and this and that. I choose super clean. It's just what I've been always doing with the engine bay. So I'm going to leave this extra dirty side here. Basically, you're just going to focus on this side of the engine bay with super clean. Because, I mean, it, technically this is where a little more of the sensitive stuff would be. So just spray it a little, wipe it down. And then I'll come back and do this left side. And, you know, I don't know. It's not a comparison video, it's a vlog. There's nothing else to do. We're stuck in freaking quarantine. I'm not like the other idiots out here doing vlogs where I'm hanging out with people, licking people's faces and foreheads, not giving a shit about Corona. You know, this is ridiculous. So this is all we got. Okay. 
I know a lot of people are going to say you could dilute this. You're absolutely right. You could absolutely dilute this. I have bottles of it diluted, but it's not what I'm doing right now. Look at this mess. When it comes to these areas in here, you know, you could just take a brush. I put a little super clean in there and I just go through and um, just clean out the little crevices and then you know I'll find a way to get in there and dry everything off same thing for like any little metal areas here that you don't want to like directly spray anything on you know you can get in there uh, I see people all the time using wheel brushes and, and whatnot you know you can you can do all that too as long as you're basically wiping everything dry and you're not getting it um, on anything important you know it's not a big deal again this is totally overkill this is the level of boredom I'm having lately is uh, nothing to do and I'm over here cleaning my wife's engine bay that no one's ever gonna see because the only time this hood gets popped open is when I change the oil so you know Kind of absurd at this point but you just gotta you gotta clean you gotta clean your cars you gotta clean your waste vehicle get every crevice like this right here see the gunk in there just gotta just give it a little wiggle and then you give it a little wipe. Here's a tip. If you can't get in there, just bunch a little bit. Jam it in. And then you'll be able to get in there. Looks nice. Looks all nice. See, little overlooked areas in here. We gotta come in here. So you're just gonna take your brush. Spray a little. Tiny butt up in there, and then, you know, just come in there. It's really soothing, I'm not gonna lie. I know a lot of people, they complain about, you know, detailing the engine bay and whatnot. I think that's a little crazy, that it's that much of a bother to somebody. Like, if you're really into specifics and you like having things cleaned and you keep your stuff clean it's really not that serious it's actually very therapeutic so anyway since this is a vlog and it's not uh some formal stuff how's everybody holding up comment below not that a lot of people even watch these vlogs i feel like all my old videos got all the views because i did a lot more you know tutorials and unboxings and detailing type stuff it's okay though I'm still going to make videos. I don't care if I get 300,000 views, 150,000 views like I used to get. Or if I get 300 views or 600 views. I really don't care. Because I'm not doing this for income. I'm doing this because I'm bored and I like you guys. So, but anyway. This is pretty much everything wiped off. Except back there. Don't forget back there. Look at the sides of the tanks. Yeah, baby give it a nice rub down it's gotta look good it's gotta look good so this is uh pretty much the way it looks right now everything's wiped off it's clean as you can see what it did look like gunk gunk over here all of that's cleaned you know it's uh it's looking pretty ridiculous so we're going to pull the uh, steam, the steam setup over, and we're going to see what we could do. Again, I've never really done this on an engine bay, so that's kind of why I don't trust myself enough to mess around here. This whole thing could have been just a waste of time, but again, it's always nice to pull out the super clean, because the super clean is where it's at, baby. Uh, and don't forget, you got to do over here too. So I'm going to swipe this, and then I'll do that side. 
uh, don't ever forget the underside of your hood I go to shows sometimes and there's like water spots and dirt and shit and I'm like what the hell did you guys do like you didn't look up like a few inches a few feet come on get to get it together get I'm not sure this is how how this is gonna go exactly but we have the steam here so we're just gonna Oh my god. Yo, that's that's like that's ridiculous. I just splattered the ever loving piss out of my engine cover here. I guess anything really, I mean you're kind of just wetting it a little bit, wiping. The absolute perk that I see of this is that I'm not using chemicals. You know, again, you can wear gloves, but during these times right now. During these times right now, I'm not wasting my gloves on this. I mean, you're basically just using distilled water steam. And like in here, where well, you can't really see anything, it's dark. Horrible video skills, what are you going to do? But like, you know, in the little crevices where I would need a brush, I don't need a brush. So, it's actually... You know, you're saving chemicals, you're saving time. All right, what I can say is that went very much quicker. Very, very quick compared to the other side. Okay guys, bring you in here. One thing I can tell you is that it's much faster. I say this method is absolutely more efficient. I didn't have any issues. I thought possibly, I mean, I guess if you held it long enough, you would have an issue here. But I didn't. Everything is very clean. Everything looks good. Not one bit of damage. All the dirt, grime, and gunk came up easy. Yes, this side went faster because it's got less than that side as far as like the intricate stuff goes. I think in general, I would rather do the uh, engine bay with steam just because I think it would be much better now one thing i want to say when you get this i don't know if this is like an in general thing but sometimes see how it just shot water i think before you spray it if it sits for a minute you gotta give it a little wiggle now so let me just i did the other side so I don't see why anybody would want to use anything else as far as cleaning goes. I think you're getting, for the most part, all of the junk loosened up. So, this is looking uh, really nice. Same thing. Same thing. Like, it's just, it's the same result. It's just no chemicals, no extra products. I'm gonna turn the Tahoe on, turn it around in a driveway, and we're gonna mess around with the Tahoe for a few. Because why not, right? Wait, hold on, hold on. Get out of here, son. Oh, I missed my track hawk, damn it. So for you people that don't know what my uh, engine bay looks like, um, I do keep this pretty clean. The place I think it would benefit the most for steam in here on that. Um, but, you know, there's, there is some dirt and grime. So I'm going to give this a quick walkthrough in here and uh, see what we can get. Okay guys, that's it, I'm gonna show you. 
the uh, I went through I cleaned every little bit that I could reach or feel like was uh, worth it and it came out nice I'm gonna tell you right now where the steam cleaner really shines here it was like caked caked with dirt and uh, did a really 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 good job you know I can hear all this it was like just like caked up really bad and um, you know did a really good job and here all these little areas down here you know a lot of it is just faded unfortunately you know it's 20 years old the upkeep before I got this vehicle really uh, wasn't there it was a police vehicle what are you supposed to do this looks really really nice it's clean it feels good what I could do, what I usually do, usually after a wash uh, on an engine bay type scenario, I would come through, spray some hyper dressing on there. You basically just, you know, you can saturate it in and uh, just leave it, let it dry and it'll give a nice uh, sheen or gloss depending on how you uh, dilute it. I do have a concentrate and I do have a ready to use version. Ready to use, I just usually go through because, I mean, here's the deal. When a product... That you don't use super often comes diluted already awesome go for it if it's a detail spray waterless wash shampoo anything like that that you're going to use repetitively over and over again i i just uh, i don't think ready to use makes a whole lot of sense unless you're supporting the company and it's like some kind of boutique brand and you really like them then go for it that's awesome it's about the gist of what's going on here funny story i don't know if any of you guys saw this but adam's just released some kind of um i guess a lemonade and I, I mean, I've talked about this before. You guys know how I feel about Adams polishes. I, I have, I have a lot of their products. Uh, I do like a lot of their products. I just feel like a lot of stuff. I don't know. It just hits me weird. They have, uh, you know, onesies and blankets and breath mints and I, I don't know. I think that they they don't stay in their lane. They want to go above and beyond, and I get it. That's a good thing. But for me, um, I have to try products before I say good or bad things about it for instance ceramic boost so many people like that but i don't i just don't know what it is about it i don't like it i had the original bottle i used almost the whole thing didn't get a i said i don't know i just didn't get the results that i thought i would didn't love it that much then i'm like okay new formula and i got their new formula and i just i didn't like it I just, you know what are you gonna do i can't do it um, but I will try out a lot of the other things ceramic glass coating. I have their stuff um, The lemonade the only reason I bought this and I did buy it. I'm sorry. I did buy it It's not gonna be there forever. But I did buy it. It was posted on April Fool's I thought it was a joke, but I went and I bought it anyway And apparently the only reason I got it was because my simple-minded head saw the cap You turn the cap and it like throws the the lemonade flavoring into there and you shake it and apparently they teamed up with a company called v Vessel V-E-S-S uh, V-S-S-L or V-E-S-S-L or V-E-S-S-L, I don't know, whatever the hell it is. Um, but they teamed up with this company that has these special caps that like, I don't know, it's just it just seemed cool. When it comes in eventually, uh, I'll do a video just showing the cap as part of a vlog, not a whole video. Um, anyway, that's about it, guys. Uh, I'm not going to bore too much more. Um, I do like these vlogs. I hope you guys like them. I feel like when there's nothing to film, there's not a dedicated video on like a certain install a certain product a certain something and it's just bsing around like i could have did a whole video just on a steam cleaner but it's all done over and over again having a format for videos kind of gets boring and, and tiring and i feel like it's a job right now i'm just woohoo! i'm just bullshitting around and i like that i'm not gonna take this too seriously i just want to have fun so if you like these videos and you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. If you're an OCDO freaking G, thank you so much. I love you guys and girls, whoever you are. I um, appreciate it. I'm going to finish wiping down. I might dress some of the engine bay up a little bit, especially in the Tahoe because it's more faded. And uh, as things roll in, I'll give you guys more video and more content. We have a 360 camera here that we're going to be doing lots of videos on. And hopefully the track haul comes back soon. And I promise you, I am earning the name Hellhawk. I promise. It's with Ripatuned. And we we just went out of nowhere. We changed our whole plan. Uh, I'll have a lot of explaining to do. Um, but 
it's worth it and then you know like i said we've got carbon fiber to put on and all that i'm not gonna bore you with it there's so much stuff once the actual vehicle gets put back together once you see what i've been seeing in my head for many many months i think i hope you'll like it and we have a lot of content coming for that vehicle um there's a couple things i want to do to the tahoe as well and a lot of my friends are just coming out with some baller ass builds i'll probably now that i'm doing vlog type stuff i'll throw them on the uh the page as well um you know i'll mix it up i'll try to keep you guys entertained so anyway keep yourself safe i love you all i hope everybody's okay i hope everybody's family and friends are okay i hope you're all you know doing your part to stay safe during this whole quarantined mess just pray 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 for the people that are sick that they get better quick and if it's a loved one of yours you know let me know i will say a prayer for them as well we want everybody to recover from this as much as possible and uh you know take this serious guys i love you all stay safe i'll see you guys in the next one Thank you.